the like you saw the we um we had um we had a good first half we had opportunities to score 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 goals and after that uh, we did it and um, I don't know what happened on the on the on the on the goal that they score we stopped uh, all out and not out was not out and uh, and after that the the second goal we got finished with um, with um, uh, a counter so. So that we came back, uh, we came back to uh, we were close also to to score another goal, but it was not enough. And after that, the PK is the PK. What is it like for you when it goes to PKs and there's really nothing else that you can do as a coach, and it's kind of just all up to the players? What are the emotions and thoughts that are running through your head during the penalty kick shootout? I told you, I told you, no, no impact on the on the PK. You know, this is a. Uh, this is a mental exercise and also technical exercise, but more mental exercise. And uh, we were we were ahead, but we didn't uh, we didn't uh, finish uh, when we had this opportunity. And after that, yeah, listen, this is a PK. Is so so tough, so tough, so tough. Uh, mental exercise for me. Uh, I can do anything on the PK. This is so difficult. And, uh, and again, I will not blame. I told you the players when they take the responsibility to uh, to uh, to take the PK because again uh, not everyone wants to do it. So yeah. Does it just does it feel right now that you guys fell short of your potential and like what just what are the emotions of knowing that the season's over after such highs and lows of this year? Yeah, like I said, this is difficult to talk because um, again. Um, for sure, we want you to do to uh, to do uh, to do well and to, do, to go on as far as possible. But we have to respect the fact that respect the defeat, respect that we the fact that we lost, and uh, and uh, and uh, New York twice. So they deserve to go through. Simple as that. Thank you. Uh, anybody else have questions? Can you please raise your hand. Cal, anything from you? Nothing here. Thank you, though. Glenn or Jack? Uh, yeah, I got one. Go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, after the game, what was the message to the guys in the locker room? Uh, difficult. Difficult to talk. Difficult to talk because, you know, I am a human being. I have emotion also like them. So I... Uh, I started to talk, just told them a few stuff, but after that, I, I prefer to to to, uh, to stop because uh, you know when we talk with emotion, sometimes this is I don't like that. So I told them what I needed to tell them, and after that, again, we we had a, a really, 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 really great season, uh, and uh, for sure, this is a this is a, this is difficult to accept that uh, we are out, but uh, we have to respect that. This is this is sport. This is high level. This is uh, soccer. But uh, but yeah, to finish like this, this is uh, this is difficult. And for the fans who've been supporting all year, just is there any anything to say to them? Again, thank you for the fans. Um, we saw a few fans again that were with us. Uh, Travel for that, and uh, thank you so much. And uh, we want you to do more, but um, but it was difficult for our, for this moment. So, um, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Jack. Brack, Brianna, anything else? Yeah, uh, one more thing. Just from your end, do you feel like there's tactically anything you could have done differently in regard to lineup, or anything that you just felt like on that you could have done differently? Can you just talk about the thoughts of this lineup? You went with a different starting lineup compared to the rest of the season and you made different changes that we haven't seen you made make so far. So just tactically, how do you feel like you, what do you feel like you could have done differently? To be honest with you, uh, when, I, when I'm wrong tactically, I can say it, but I didn't feel that it was a tactical issue because again, we had uh, when we watched the, the game, we had many, many opportunities to score and we started really well. And uh, again, uh, New York Red Bulls had their moments, their moment, uh, the way they play. And uh, after that, we needed to uh, to adjust certain things uh, when we scored. And uh, and again, we the, the the first goal that we conceded, this is there is nothing with tactic, uh, you know. So the, the second goal, in terms of decision making, yes, after we're going to start or not. 
yeah, the player that I put for me was the best player to start the game. After that, we can debate. But uh, but I'm really pleased about uh, what they did. I'm really pr pr proud of, about uh, my uh, my team. I'm really proud about what they what they did since the beginning of the year. They were out outstanding. And again, we have to accept that this is uh, we don't want to finish like that. But again, they did uh, they did everything. So I cannot tell them that no, you, no they did everything. So again, we have to uh, to. It's going to take time, but we have to move forward. Thank you. Let's take one question from Glenn Crooks, and then we'll wrap. Thank you very much. Uh, Wilfred, uh, uh, tough to feed. And uh, this question is regarded towards the penalties. You know, everybody seems to take a different tact how they do it. I seem to recall against New York City in the League's Cup, you actually let the players, if, if I have this right, decide, you know, who would take or how that would go. Is that... The way you did it this time, or was there more coaching involvement, um, just in terms of your preparation, and then how they went about it? It obviously worked very well the first time against New York City. No, well, listen. I've, uh, since I've been a coach, uh, I've been like that. And again, don't get me wrong. It's not because I talk to my players. I have a staff, and uh, I trust my staff. I trust my players. So why I'm gonna try to control certain things that um, everything is under on, on, on control already. So so this is not because I, I, I step out that uh, I don't do anything No, I, I talk with them, I, I, I share certain things with them, and after that, uh, to give them confidence, and after that, I have nothing to do. So so again, everything is clear. Who is going to take the PK? Uh, and uh, there is a structure. Don't think that uh, we go and we take the PK like this. No, there is a structure behind that, but I don't put myself the focus on that because I have no control on that and there are other people with my staff and my players also that are able to do it.